So here's an update on the boat, um, just on the exterior. As you can see, it's pretty beat. That was me just trying to grind some stuff. But uh, for the most part, it's in fairly rough shape. Um, what I did is I removed all the decals. They're just vinyl, so I just used a heat gun to uh, heat them up and then scrape them off. They came off pretty easily. And what I ordered was um, some vinyl to wrap the whole side of the boat here. So I got a 60 inch piece I'm going to cut in half by 20 feet I believe. And it'll cover from uh, basically here down to just below the water line here. What I'm going to do with the uh, um, gunnel here is um, I've grinded it down. There were some old cleats, you know, in a few spots. So there's some holes. Uh, I've just taken my angle grinder there and just grinded down some of the rough spots. Still should do that one once more. This one here, you can see there's still a few uh, grooves in it. I'm not looking for it to be perfect, but uh, just better than it was. And I'm going to fill the holes. And there's a couple... Um, spots like this here I think old trolling motor was hitting there to um, just fill those up with uh, JB weld and then I'm gonna prime this and paint it so with this JB weld you just mix up equal parts and uh, stir it up and then uh, fill in the holes that's what it looks like mixed up and it's a it's a fairly thick uh, consistency so that's the color you're going for there Okay, so those are the holes filled up. You put it on a little proud so it's sticking out a little because it will sink down into those holes as it sets. You can see that there. It's, I don't know if you can get the angle on it, but it has sunk down a bit. But uh, we're going to just come back and uh, sand that down so it's all nice and flush with the, uh, the hull of the boat there, or the gunnel of the boat, I should say. So the next thing I'm going to do on the inside is I'm just going to run a tape line right along here because I'm going to paint everywhere from there up. And uh, before I do that, I'm just going to use a wax and grease remover to um, get all the grease and fingerprints and all that stuff off. Just so my tape sticks nicely. Okay, so I got most of the taping done. Um, on this side, I've got this bracket that's riveted in here. I'm going to have to drill out. Um, this is where the console attached. So these are just screws and I'm left with all these holes here. So I'm popping them out. And what I'm going to do is just fill them with rivets just so the screws don't stick out as much. You can see I already did one here. Just ground that down on the back side just to make it a little smoother. So I'm going to fill those up. So I got these ones in, as you can see, I got a couple left. I'll show you how, how to do it. Essentially what you're doing is putting it in like that. As you uh, use the tool, this ball pulls back, uh, stretches out the back side, and then locks it into place. That's what it looks like there. This is the tool with the different size adapters. You just pick the one that fits your rivet the best. Basically just squeeze it a few times and that's it. So the rivet goes in like that. Into your hole. And then squeeze the trigger. So the JB weld worked okay. Uh, there's a few little dimples there where the holes were. The other side was way worse. So I'm going to just grind these down now. So after I, I uh, grinded down the JB weld, I had a couple uh, small holes left. So I just used that Bondo stuff to fill it in. So I'm just going to sand that down and then I can prep for paint. Okay, so I've taped everything off on both sides. Got everything cleaned up, all the holes filled, and I'm just going to come down with a primer. I've already done the back here. It's two coats of primer and then one coat of the silver. Okay, so just prepping the boat. I've got the paint uh, done on the gunnel here. It's 
a GM Galaxy Silver Metallic color. And uh, now I've just um, gone taken off all the old vinyl stickers. I've ground down some of the areas with a angle grinder with a polishing pad actually. And um, just got to get all the dust off. And then um, take off any of the sticky that's left behind. Most of it's pretty good. I've just ground down all the areas. I missed this one. Just about any area where I can see metal, I've ground down just to give it a smoother finish. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference or not, but I figure I may as well do that. Done that on both sides, so I'm gonna wash it just with soap and water and then um, see what I got left for the, the old adhesive to take off.